everyone. We are here on my favorite crypto trading card game ever, Splinterlands. I am at an account that I hardly ever play, uh, like never, <laughs> which is She Plays Monsters. It is for new uh, beginners. We're going to show you a few battles to help you play a little bit better and understand. Uh, I'll give you a few tips uh, when starting out. So this account, um, the cards are all uh, starter. If you see that has the S here for starter card, it means they may be used in battles, but you don't own them. They're like phantom cards. Um, you can't sell them. Um, all this, these cards here are what you get when you buy a spell book. I only have four cards owned on here. These guys, that's it. And I think they're actually already in the game. Um, so, let's uh, go ahead and play a battle. Well, let's see here. You do have a daily quest when you're playing Splinterlands. A daily quest is where you can earn rewards. So this is a water quest. Pirate attacks. Win five ranked battles with the water splinter. And you get one loot chest. Okay, so I'm going to click on Ranked Battle. If you haven't yet, make sure you click on here, How to Play. You're going to really need to read these tutorial, uh, play the tutorial here. And it talks about the splinter, different splinters, card basics about mana, uh, what's what. You can read all of this later on if you haven't yet done so. It's all the abilities are listed right here. Talks about card placement here. Melee attack cannot hit from the back unless otherwise specified by a rule set or ability. First position range attacks do not work in this position. First, you ha can't use that unless the rule set says so. Um, talks about preparing for battle, positioning, cards, combat. Play tutorial. This is a great tutorial. I've actually gone over it a few times. Huh, okay. I'm gonna skip this, but you can go do that yourself some more. Let's go to rank battle. Now, my advice for newer players, if you can find a tank that's healing, that's great. That will make you last. If you can put, put build like a strong wall, a wall as in your tank, the first card, make sure it has a good health. If it can heal, that's great, or has a healer. Um, make sure your end is safe from any sneak attacks that might come back there. So don't put like your weakest card back there. I would try to make a strong wall, meaning the tank should be strong and your last card should be strong. It's building like a wall. And put your weaker cards on the middle section. Now, if a if a card, they have a play a card that could hit your weakest card, that's also possible. Um, so let's just see what they put out. Oops, I didn't confirm that with my Hive Keychain. I was wondering what was taking so long. <laughs> okay, we've confirmed that now. We should be coming up here with a battle. I think that was the best advice I ever heard though, is they, they, they were talking about a wall. Now look here, this is what they've been playing. He's got Goblin Mech, Ooze, Chicken. He's got a uh, Magic there. Another Magic, Rexy. All right, let's, let's put, let's see what we, I wanna, uh, 16 mana. So lower, lower levels have a very, very little mana because not everyone has a lot of cards. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with magic here, I think. Because it's so low, I'm thinking magic would be the best. All right, we're gonna play with the turtle and I need some magic cards. So I'm gonna click this button right here. Oh, this doesn't heal though. That is gonna be a problem. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I need a healer, this is a healer right here. 
Um, oh, I'm going to have to use him. He has no attack, though. I kind of want to not use him and have my extra magic. I might take a chance and do that. Let's see. I think I'm going to just take a chance um, and do that. All right, well. Oh, I don't even have the chicken. Oh, I guess you don't get the chicken on your starter thing. Oh, it's a good 10 cent investment to have that chicken. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Let's see. What else could I put? All right, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just not going to have a healer. That's a decision I'm going to have to live with. <laughs> and I'm not putting a great wall either. They only have one health in the back. So I'm really not taking my own advice. But I just want, I just feel like playing some magic. Oh, I keep forgetting to confirm that. I'll have to click on that next time so I don't have to click OK. Here, let me click on Do Not Prompt Again. There we go. All right, so we got magic. We got the Auric Summoner. He gives a plus one magic. So all these are going to be a two magic hit. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know for sure, but I think so. Because I think that magic is going to kill everybody really fast. I'm glad I didn't go with the healer, actually. Because they're going to kill him right now with all this magic. Bam, he's out of there. Oh, he missed. The turtle's very slow. Pixie's flying, and she's at two speed. But magic gets her. We won. Okay, so magic is very strong. Uh, we went with it and killed the goblin mech. We got 48 points for that, and we have one down and four to go. I guess this should be titled a water quest for beginners. <laughs> that may that may work because, like I said, I don't have any cards in water extra at all. Okay, so a lot of chicken use is going on. A lot of chicken use. Is this the same? No, I don't think so. All right, it's twenty nine mana and it's standard rule sets. Here we have all of the. Uh, Splinters available. I'm going with my quest. I'm going to play magic, I think. Uh, let me just find a good... Let me get all the magic cards. All right, these are all the magic cards. I want to get them all the way right now. All right, I'll put the three health in the back. All right, that's all the magic cards available. So for my tank, um, it's like I want something pretty good... He has a good 8 health. I like that. Oh. Now we're short 2 mana, though. I don't like that. I like to use all my mana. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to because this is an 8 mana. That's the highest card I have. Um, I could swap out a magic card, but I don't know about that. Let's see. I could swap out a 2. A 2. And what do I have for a four that I could use? Okay, now this has opportunity, but it would only have a two melee versus Ice Pixie two. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. He has opportunity as well, but he only has a one attack. Well, I think I'm just going to keep that magic because this would have to go through armor, you see, whereas magic would just go right through armor. Um, if I got rid of Enchanted Pixie at 3, then I could put a 5 melee. What's a 5? Okay, well, this heals, but again, I will be left with the same thing. Um, it's a ranged attack, so it's going to have to go through armor. If they have armor, it's going to have to go through it. P Pixie, she doesn't have to go through armor. I'm going to go in with 27 mana, even though I really like to fill up my mana, but... With these choices, I think that magic will be a little bit better. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go with this. Hopefully, it works out for us. We are trying to do the water splinter. 
uh oh, if this ever happens to you, just press OK and then you can refresh if it doesn't pop up. I think it's going to pop up. There we go. Sometimes it happens. You may have to refresh or sign in and sign out. Maybe that's what I could do as well. Okay, so he has no sneak, so I probably should have put in the stronger cards with health up here. That way they last longer. But I didn't know, you know? Uh, I did not know. Um, he has a pretty strong tank, but it does not have. The armor doesn't matter because we're going to get him. Oh gosh. Oh, they got rid of our magic card. Okay, so this may. We may not make it. <laughs> We, we may not make it. Oh, gosh. Not, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Here goes our pixie. She's going to die now, though, because he's going to hit her. All right, one, yeah. You need your stronger cards up here. I was thinking maybe they might have a sneak. All right, we've lost this. We have lost this battle. Oh, there goes all our magic. Oh, Oh, wait! Hey! We won! They have no attacks on these two cards. They're just fillers for sneaks on the end. Okay, cool. I thought we weren't going to win there. Alright, well, that's pretty easy. I got another 46 points. And we have three more to go. Again, we're doing a water quest with only the starter card that they give you. No extra cards have been bought in the water. Okay, so they are using sneaks a lot every time they're using a sneak. That tells me I need to put something in the back. I'm still going with water here. Um, I think the best tank is going to be Turtle with the healer. And, of course, I'm going to put in all my magic cards. One, two, three, four. So, let's see. Okay, so they had a sneak. So let's see. I need. What can I put back there? I could put him. And he's going to heal itself. This will be uh, possible. He'll heal himself. Um, but they could still kill it if they have like a two mana. Let's see. What do I have that's five? That's better. I don't think anything. I think he heals himself. Um, that's my best bet right now that I'm thinking to put there. Uh, I'm going to leave the healer where it's at. Uh, just because I don't want my magic cards to die too soon. But we have a pretty good wall with the turtle here and the uh, water elemental. I would think about maybe moving my healer down, but... You know, it has a two health, and I don't want my magic cards to die with, like, one hit. I'm just going to go with that, but uh, we do have a pretty strong wall. We have 24 mana in there. We have some magic cards. We have a healer, spineback turtle. We have water elemental, which heals himself on the end. I'm hoping they won't use fire with the plus one melee, and they did not. They used fire, but for speed. We don't really care about speed because our attacks are mostly magic here. So I don't really care too much about speed because it doesn't matter. Magic is going to hit you in this rule set. It's going to hit. It's going to go through his armor as well. And that's what I wanted. Um, I think we are going to win this. I may lose my healer, but I think we're going to win. I did a pretty strong wall here. Oh, that's it. We won. Uh, magic will get him. Again, these are all cards from the starter set. Ooh, we're already in bronze three. One day. New season reward. Five loot chests. Cool. It gives you the tier information and everything. It is locked, though, until you unlock it. Oh, I'm going to need some power. Okay. Well, that means I'm going to have to rent some cards or get some cards delegated to me from someone. Discord is a great place to go sometimes. Uh, just hang out and uh, see what happens. Okay, um, 24 mana standard rule sets. What they've been using? Sneaks. He's been using some sneaks every time. So we need something on the back. Again, I'm going to go with the water. We have a water quest. If it's not 
looking good for your rule set, then don't do it. But I think we'll be fine playing water. I'm going to get all my magic cards in right away. This is going to be plus one, so I'll get two hit on each card here. I'm going to put three health and then three health. And the one health is in the middle, hopefully to protect them a little bit. Now, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, we can put the Spineback Turtle or... I guess it's that. And then we have a Healer. So we're short one mana here. Now, let's see. Should I take off a Magic? I could do that again and replace it with Water Elemental because they're going to have Sneak. I saw that. I think we're going to need to do that here. Otherwise, they're just going to kill off my Crustacean King pretty fast. All right, so we're going to go with this. 24 mana. We've got the Spineback Turtle here. We've got Auric Stormbringer as our summer. He's adding that plus one magic. Um, we've got Medusa. She only has the three health, but we're going to put the smaller uh, health ones with one health in here. And uh, let's go... Let's go at it and see what happens here. This is definitely water splinter battles for beginners. Okay, this looks good to me. Um, he has a, a, a two ranged attack for our sneak here, but we heal back here. So I don't think he's going to be able to kill him before we get rid of Goblin Mech. And bam, the sneak didn't do anything. He couldn't. All right, here comes the magic. Oh, there goes that. And he can't hit from there. He's a range. We've won. We have won another battle. Wow, this is like really cool. <laughs> we got 52 points for that. Moving up pretty quick. One more battle left. Wow, this has only been, um, uh, it's been like um, 16, probably about 16, 15, 16 minutes now. Uh, let's see. Goblin Mech again, so he's going to get some magic. Standard rule set. Let's go with... The turtle has not let us down yet. Let's go with him. Oops, we went over. Um, I don't see anything for a tank for a three. Um, I'm thinking I have to take off. Hmm, I'm not sure. What should I do? 23. We need to take off maybe a healer. I really think I need my healer, but, uh... Alright, maybe I'm gonna have two. Alright, we're putting, uh, a little different here. We're using the Cocoa Trees up front. Uh, then we got Spineback Turtle. I do not have a healer, but I have Medusa, Ice Pixie, Enchanted Pixie, and Elven Mystic. All magic cards. So, hopefully, they will kill the other cards and not have to worry about not having a healer here. Let's see what we're going to be up against. I did not see they had any sneaks, so I didn't really protect myself in the back too much. We have a three health card, and that's it. What? He can't even hit from here. <laughs> Oh, what an easy win. This card cannot hit from there. It's a ranged attack. There's no rule set that says he can hit from there. So we won without losing any card. That was the easiest battle thus far. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see. How many more battles uh, do we need to do until we... 58 points. Oh, we have... We have... Um... We have them all. Um, before I get my quest, I like to I like to use these potions for quests 
Um, it's 750 DEC, so I need to, I need to go over and bring that in for me. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to, oh, I have Hive Engine right here, actually. I'm gonna go to here and send this to She Plays Monsters. 750 DEC. Now I can um, bring this in game and buy that potion because I had it on Hive Engine. It'll be coming here in just a moment. Okay, there it is. 750 is in Hive Engine. We're going to put 750 and bring Hive Engine in, transfer it in. Oh, damn. It's not letting me do that. That sucks. I should have did it to player. Okay, let me go, um, let me go sign in under my Clove account and just send it to the player. I can do it that way. Actually, I don't think that would even work either. I need to have, I need to have my, I don't have my active key on here. It looks like I have to go put that in because I never use this account player she plays monsters all right next time I'll have to make sure but you don't have to buy that a lot of new players um, may be better off if you're new and you're on a budget just trying to um, trying to win So we have one charge now for our quest potion. This is going to give us five additional loot chests. And we're only going to get one, so that's great. Now let's go back to battle and open up our reward, claim reward. We're going to have five loot chests plus our regular one we get. Um, I like it. I like to use the, but you can also buy a lot more cards, so it's up to you. We got some DEC, a little bit of DEC, DEC. And a harvester card. Um, again, you can choose to just get your one, or you can add to get the five others. All right, that's going to be it for today. I will be back with some more battles for new players. But today, oh, we have a life quest. That will be my next video for you guys. Uh, beginners, life quest battles. But today, we did a nice water quest, and it's pretty awesome. I am Clove71, and I hope to see you in the battlefield. Take it easy, everyone.